Hello, John from Peter Tyson. After filming the bookshelf speakers under a thousand pounds video and being mightily impressed by the ELAC B 5.2 bookshelf speakers, I needed a new product to film and these little ELAC powered bookshelf speakers piqued my interest. So let's uh, crack on and have a look at these. So the ELAC Debut Connects DCB41 powered speakers. A catchy name, I think you'll agree. They are simple, small, inexpensive powered loudspeakers with many use cases. And there's decent colour choices too, should you want something nice and neat and understated, or maybe something a bit more funky. I plumped for the lovely blue colour. In the box you'll find two speakers, obviously, an IR remote control, batteries for said remote control, a length of speaker cable, a power cord, rubber feet and speaker grills, and you even get an HDMI lead. Elac, you're spoiling us. The mains powered primary speaker hosts all of the connections and two Class D 50 watt amplifiers. The secondary passive speaker does not require mains power. It connects to the primary speaker with the included speaker cable. If that's not long enough, any reasonable quality speaker cable will do the job for you. And considering the price, the connectivity is plentiful. It's USB supporting up to 96 kHz at 24 bits, perfect for a laptop or computer audio. They're small enough to sit neatly on a computer desk. There's analog RCA line in for a CD player or maybe a streamer, or even a turntable thanks to Elac's onboard moving magnet phono stage. It's not the finest phono stage in the world, but for the occasional vinyl playback on a modest deck, it's perfectly fine. There's a digital optical input if your source supports it for higher quality audio. There's HDMI ARC, perfect for connecting a TV as a nifty alternative to a soundbar. So your TV's remote will adjust the volume on the ELAC as well. Nice and simple. There's even a pre-output should you want to add an external subwoofer to just reinforce that bottom end. If you want to go wireless, there is of course Bluetooth with Aptex codex, so it keeps a latency down to a minimum. There we go, recording on my phone and playing via Bluetooth to the ELAC powered speakers. And the lip sync is perfectly fine. Mmm, lip sync. There are no streaming smarts, there's no Chromecast or AirPlay 2, and no built-in voice assistance because there is no network connection. But what do you want? The moon on a stick? They're less than 500 quid and they sound good. And if you want an inexpensive streamer that'll just plug right in, I'll leave you some options in the description below. I'm good like that. The sound is delivered via a three quarter inch soft dome tweeter and a four and a half inch polypropylene mid bass woofer, all powered by the two aforementioned 50 watt class D amplifiers. They sound really decent. They're well balanced, good levels of detail and respectable bass weight for such a minuscule cabinet. They're obviously not going to fill a big room with chest thumping bass. There is a limit to what a four and a half inch drive unit can do. There is always the option to add an additional subwoofer with that pre-output if desired. They're not fussy about placement either. They are a reported bass reflex design, but hard against the wall or pulled forward into free space doesn't seem to spoil the sound at all. They just get on with it. There is an X bass enhancer. This boosts the bottom end somewhat and works quite well at lower volumes. This is of course all down to personal taste. Personally, I preferred it switched off. Just a minor point, the volume control that doubles as a source selector is actually on the back of the primary speaker. I think that would have made more sense to have that located on the front of the cabinet. The included remote works just fine, it is only a minor point. And on a good note, the actual remote control quality for this sort of price is actually very, very decent. All in all, they're a solid buy, in my opinion, for a simple 
fuss-free audio. Connect them to a computer with the USB or the RCAs. You can connect a deck or a streamer or a CD player for a simple second room audio, perhaps in a bedroom or a kitchen or a dining room or wherever you want to put them, stick them in your office. Uh, nice alternative to a soundbar with that HDMI ARC connection. They're just genuinely decent little speakers. They look cool and they're built well and they sound really good. If you want to come and try them, give me a shout here at Carlisle on the number on the screen. Until then, you'll see me in the next video. Take care.